Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Upper, the show where I attempt to fix up your houses. Today we're doing a house called Vacant Villa by the Danger Dreamer on the gallery. Costs like 60,000 simoleons, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and this once quaint family villa was suddenly abandoned during an unforeseen tropical storm, and no one knows what happened to the family. Did they get away in time? The building lay vacant and overgrown for many years, and is to be demolished, but local landowner wishes to renovate the building to halt the demolition and bring life back to the ruin. And it is this amazing villa on this crazy terrain tool hill and stuff. It's really nice and I cannot wait to renovate it. So let's do a quick little tour and kind of get a vibe. First of all, uh, most importantly, dinosaurs. <laughs> the actual house you can see it's on this like really overgrown hill area. When you first walk up you have to go up some stairs and there's a bunch of outdoor space that I really love about it. And then when you walk into the house it's completely open and um, a little bit overgrown, a little bit dirty moderately concerning. Got a duck right there. <laughs> it's a really cute house. It's just a lot is going on in here. Obviously there's like cracks in the walls and stuff like that. It's also tiny. And then when you walk up the stairs, you have a tiny little hallway here. There's like a little balcony outside, which is really adorable. Oh, there's a lot of outdoor space, like I said. And then we have over here a master bedroom, which is really, really small. And then we have across the hallway a kid's bedroom. Again, really, really small. And there's a half bathroom next door. So there's two bathrooms in this house, but one's a half bathroom upstairs. And like I said, the outdoor spaces, they have not really any dining space inside, but on this little patio, they've got some space and like a grill and stuff like that. They have their laundry out here. It's really cute and I love it a lot. I just, I love the idea of these like open patios and things, and, like the different levels and I want to remind you guys one more time that if you want to build things for Fixer Upper, you can build them, put them on the hashtag fix me Lil Simsy on the gallery and then I might check them out and renovate them. So if you want me to build your things, if you want to build me things, I don't know what I'm saying. Hashtag fix me Lil Simsy. Anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in to the renovation. Okay, so we are back and we are Fixer Uppering this house or shall I say villa this vacant villa. Get it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Listen, you guys, I love this house. This is one of those houses where the original build was so good that I felt bad, like, ruining it. I say by taking away all the landscaping and stuff. Like, as I was sitting here deleting all the items, I was like, wow, I'm destroying a very beautiful house, and it was good, and now I just ruined it. But it's okay, because this person built this amazing villa, and it's tiny, 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 and I renovated it, and I had so much fun doing this, because one, it's on this terrain sort of hill area, and so it has this weird shape, and it's all a lot of outdoor space and balconies and things, and it's really cool. Like, I want to play in this house. I love the use of the outdoor space to make the inside feel bigger, because obviously it's a really tiny house, so you have to maximize the outdoors to make the indoors make sense, right? And so it just it was really cool. It ends up being two bedrooms and one bathroom and they don't really have a dining room inside because <laughs> There isn't much space inside. So there's like a dining table outside There's like a lot of outdoor indoor space and my stream was so bothered by the lack of a front door It doesn't have a door. It has just a bunch of archways and stuff which bothered my stream so much But I liked I know that sounds weird, right? But I'm just here trying to branch out, okay? And I thought it was really cool that there was no front door on there and it was just the, the archways and all these open spaces and like a lot of the windows aren't actually windows, they're just like open holes in the wall. And I thought it was really cool and like, a, I don't know, it's, it's about the style of the house and you know, the area that it's from, okay? Let me have this. I just, I want it to be beautiful and open, okay? And so on the inside, I ended up switching where the kitchen and living room was. I got rid of the bathroom that was downstairs because it had a half bathroom upstairs and a full bathroom downstairs and I was like, nah. We don't even have a full bedroom. Like, we <laughs> we only need one bathroom in this house. So, there are two really small bedrooms, one for a kid and one for parents. I figure that, like, a single dad lives here. If you've been following my videos recently and you've caught on to my, my recent dinosaur theory, I'll explain again for you all. <laughs> but I have this theory that moms hate dinosaurs. I built this apartment a while ago. Maybe it was last week. Honestly, I don't know when videos are going up because I'm pre-recording and so I don't even know what order I'm making these videos in anymore. So, like, have you seen it yet? I don't know, but I'll explain. Basically, my theory is that moms hate dinosaurs. So I built this apartment where this kid really loved dinosaurs, but their mom was like, no, 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 you love sports, and then wouldn't let them, be, like, have dinosaur things in their room. So they had all these, like, secret dinosaurs hidden in their room. It's really dumb. But, like, my theory is that moms hate dinosaurs, but if you look closely behind this house, there's a giant dinosaur statue, like, off in the distance. And so I was like, whoa, there's no way a mom lives here. Like, this is a single dad, okay? There's no way a mom's hanging out in this house. Not with that dinosaur back there. And so it was it was like a funny haha -ha meme about I know you guys don't care about this, okay? I just I in my mind these things are so funny and I love them and I'm like thinking it's hilarious and great and then I end up doing it for real or like <laughs> talking about it in a video and I'm like, wait a minute, 
that's not hilarious, great, or funny. What am I talking about? And it's just a, a giant bunch of embarrassment. So I'm sorry about that, but I picture like a single dad lives here. It's got the master bedroom, the beds against the wall. So your Sims, they're supposed to be able to scoot over into that bed, but like will two Sims sleep there? No. Can two Sims woohoo there? No. And so like realistically, what's the point? <laughs> sorry, that's disgusting. I don't know. Ew. Anyway, the landscape on this build, I use a lot of jungle adventure. I think I used jungle adventure get together seasons maybe in this build. I don't remember. I try to limit my packs a little bit. I've been doing a lot of pack limited builds just to make my stuff more accessible for you guys to download because I realized that if when I, if I, okay, back up. I realized that when I use like 12 packs in a build, it makes it so you guys can't play in it because most people don't play Sims for a living and have all the packs. <laughs> like I, I understand that. I just sometimes when I'm building, I'm like, oh, pretty candles. And I put them down and I forget that like most people won't have them. And so I, I don't know. I'm trying to limit my packs a little bit more in my builds to an extent at least. And so I tried to not use a million things in this one. Plus it's a tiny house. If I'm going to use like 12 packs to build this teeny tiny house, like we have a problem. I can work on that a little bit more, huh? I think this kitchen though in this build is one of my favorite ones of all time. I had so much fun with the color scheme that I did in there because I used these blue appliances and I never branch out with my kitchens. I use the same fridge and stove in every single build because when they fit with cabinets, I think they look best compared to the other ones. But this time I used the jungle adventure stove and fridge in a like a royal blue kind of swatch and I loved it. I loved like the blue and orange inside of this build. I thought it was really cool. I liked, I mean, you know, complimentary colors and whatnot, but I thought it was fun like how bright it seemed in there and so I had a good time doing that. I, I like to branch out with kitchens. I don't know. I'm, I used to build the same kitchen like over and over again. Not even though. You know what? No. Back up. I'm sorry. I'm taking a hate comment too literally. One time someone wrote a hate post about how all my kitchens look the same and I took it very personally because I was a weak person when I was like 16 because you know what 16 year olds don't need to have people on the internet hating on them <laughs> but anyway I read this post about how awful I am and how all my kitchens are the same and I was like wow my life is so hard oh sorry guys Twitter notification follow me on Twitter by the way at Lil Sims <laughs> someone just liked my tweets I forgot to mute my phone I was um Anyway, I was <laughs> with my cat outside, and so I wanted to have my phone sound on just in case <laughs> someone called me when I was not next to my phone. Anyway, don't worry about it. Why was my phone sound on? I never do that. Who takes their phone off silent these days? In the current year, in 2019, honestly, whose phone isn't on silent right now? That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, I know that some people need to have it on, um, on like the ringer and stuff, but I think that's funny because I never have mine on. And sometimes it'll go off and I'm like, wait, since when has it been on? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> and it happens when I'm recording. I'll get like a Snapchat notification and I'm like, oh, sorry about that, you guys. I've just got so many friends Snapchatting me, you know? <laughs> all, all two of them are Snapchatting me right now. <laughs> Oh, I broke all my snap streaks again. Hang on. Can we talk about snap streaks for a second? Sorry to like distract from the build, but like love the kitchen, beautiful place, all that. Snap streaks, however, I am so bad at keeping snap streaks because I'll get in like um some real sad boy hours, for example, and I'll just be like hating myself all day and not wanting to open Snapchat or like forgetting to open Snap Snapchat because it doesn't cross my mind when I hate myself to like want to take pictures. And so I just won't open Snapchat for like a solid day. And then I come back and all my streaks are broken and everyone's mad at me. And I just, it's not good because I don't care about Snapchat streaks. I have one that's like pretty high. How many days is the one that I have that's high? I've kept that one because I remember. Because I... 250. Hey, that's good. Good, Simsy. My highest streak ever. But yeah, all my other ones, I broke every single other streak of mine. Every single one. People get mad at me. They're like, how dare you? Like my sister, she was like mad. No, she wasn't. She was mad once the first time I did it. She wasn't mad this time. My, everyone's given up on me, to be honest. No one trusts me to keep streaks anymore. And I respect that. I do, because I'm not good at them. Some people have like 500 day Snapchat streaks, and I don't understand how. Like I, I just, I never have I ever been able to do such a thing. I just like send ugly pictures to like three of my friends on Snapchat and that's, or like pictures of my cat or videos of my cat. Like I'm, I don't know. I think I'm like your classic like old person using Snapchat and I'm 19. Like most people, I don't know. They all talk on Snapchat. Like all of my college friends, like my, my school friends, I mean, I don't really have many of them, but all of them and all the ones that I know of, they all use Snapchat to talk to everybody. Like, they, they don't get anyone's phone numbers ever or anything. They just talk on Snapchat. Like, one time in one of my classes, this girl, she was like, hey, 
can I get your snap? And she, like, handed me her snap code, and she was, like, scan it, because she wanted me to, like, send her, like, ask her about the homework or whatever, like, some homework questions, so we just, like, exchanged Snapchats, and, like, that, this is, this is the current year. People just ex exchange Snapchats now, and I hate talking on Snapchat, because, first of all, they can tell when you've read messages, and I don't like that, because I am a kind of person where I don't like to reply to people ever, because I read things, and then I get really anxious about it, and then I, I'm so bad, I'm such a bad person, but I'll read it, and then get anxious about it, and then not want to reply for, like, three days, and, like, I, I'm, knowing that I need to reply for three whole days and like feeling stressed about it for like three days but still not able to reply and on snapchat they know when you've opened it so you can't like hide for three days and be like oops sorry wasn't on twitter <laughs> missed your dm because they know that I read it and like I, on text messages I can be like oh sorry I've just been so busy I forgot to check my phone oh my god you know I'm, I've been on my pc working all day sorry about that like but they, when snapchat they know that you've seen their message and that's not what I want I don't need that that's not good that doesn't help me. And so I refuse to talk to people on Snapchat. It stresses me out so much. And they can tell when you screenshot things. Like, if you're gonna be mean to me on Snapchat, I wanna screenshot it and expose you to my friend. <laughs> but I can't do that if they're gonna tell you that I screenshotted it. Although one time, this person, I'm not gonna name any names, but this person called my sister a really, really bad name to me on Snapchat. And I was like, hmm, I'm not gonna stand for this, actually. And so I was arguing with this person because they were like, they, they said something really mean about my sister. I'm not going to clarify what it was, but my sister was 12 at the time. So like, you're going to back off, buddy. Anyway, I was upset. And then they kept pushing it and like kept going on about it. And I was screenshotting everything they said because I was really mad. And I wanted to know that I was screenshotting it all. And they kept being like, stop screenshotting it. And I was screenshotted again. It was being really petty, but they also called my sister an awful name that is not acceptable. So anyway, don't call my 12 year old sister things to do with gardening tools. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm really upset about that still. And that happened like a year and a half ago. So <laughs> anyway, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. What are your thoughts on Snapchat? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm actually genuinely curious. I, I feel like we have a good demographic of like age groups here. Cause I feel like most people, I don't know, around my age or older are either like super not into Snapchat or like only to talk to like one person, but I feel like most people around middle school age, like people my sister's age, use Snapchat very regularly. Like my sister and all of her friends are constantly on Snapchat. Like the way that I use like Discord and Twitter is the way my sister uses Snapchat. I feel like Twitter is, is more of an older people thing. Not that I'm old, okay, don't call me old, but like I use Twitter the way that she uses Snapchat. Like I talk to my friends all on Twitter and like I'm spending all my time, it's bad how much time I spend on Twitter. I'm, it's not good. And when you know that, and you know that I don't reply to anyone's DMs on Twitter, and, like, you know I've seen them. Like, you know I've seen your Twitter DMs, but I didn't reply because I get so anxious about it. I'm- this is, like, a formal apology to anyone who's ever DM'd me ever, because even on Discord, I literally have Discord open on my PC all day, every single day. Like, without a doubt, I'm on Discord. 24 7 it's really bad but discord is open right now like discord is always open if you've messaged me on discord there is like an almost guarantee that i have seen it like dm not like in servers and stuff but like if you've dm'd me on discord i've seen it i just got stressed and didn't reply which is really bad i need to work on that can i just like can i get a fresh slate in like 2019 i reply to people but can you guys all give me like a chance to start over and like forgive all of the times that i haven't replied to you this, please, anyone who's ever messaged me ever, please, can I get it? Can I start over? Can I get a free pass for being a bad person and not replying to you? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Oh my god. Okay, I um, I really have no excuse. It'll be like normal nice things too. Like, a, how are you doing? And I'm like, oh my god, they want to talk to me. I'm so stressed, and I don't reply. And I, that's not. That's not. That's why. Why. Does anyone else do that? Is that just me? Because I, it's so embarrassing. I used to think that I was just like some sort of crazy freak. And then I realized that was anxiety. <laughs> and when I, when I realized that when I was like 13, I was like, huh, no, no. That, I was like 17 when I realized that was what, that was anxiety doing that to me. I didn't realize, uh, I, when I was like 13, I thought I was crazy. And I kind of was. So there's that. But <laughs> hey guys, you're not crazy. Are you? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh, we really are out here, team. I'm sorry, we- this video took a turn that I didn't expect it to. I love the furnishing in this house, though. Like I said, especially the downstairs, I loved the downstairs so much. I thought it was so nice. And the upstairs, like, the bathroom, I really enjoyed. I don't know why I liked it so much, but I really loved the bathroom in this house for some reason. I thought it was really pretty, and I still think it is. So I'm proud of that one. Again, it's only one bathroom in this house, but I feel like that's not a problem when you only have, like, two Sims living here. Like, you're not gonna have more than two- maybe three Sims living here, but 
you only need one bathroom for that. Imagine I have, like, three bathrooms in one bedroom. <laughs> Some of these mansions, you guys ever look at, like, mansions on real estate websites? Is that just me? You just look at, like, these houses that have, like, 16 bedrooms and stuff like that. I found this one house. This kind of thing happens all the time. They'll build a mansion, and because there's so much just space, they'll have, like, nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms. And it's, like, what even, what do you do with 16 bathrooms? Like, what, what is, what is that? So each bedroom has, like, a his and hers bathroom, and they have, like, half bathrooms all over the place and stuff like that. I mean, obviously not to that extent, but there's probably, like, four, like, master suite-sized his and hers bathrooms and closets, and, like, these mansions are crazy. I don't... I find that so hard to comprehend. <laughs> what about you guys? Do you frequent real estate websites to look at things that you could never have? Because I sure do. I don't even think I want that, though. A mansion like that? No, thank you. But on that note, you guys, I'm gonna actually cut off right here. We, I don't even know where I am anymore, but make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. By the way, real estate websites, great for finding houses to build in The Sims. Like, it's really fun to look at real estate stuff and, like, figure out what houses you want to build and steal them and build them in The Sims because you can get a lot of ideas that way. I don't really do that, but my friends do, and I hear it works. So, you're welcome.